Greatest Cards of All Time podcast number 15. It's time to talk about Michael Jordan. This is one huge set. This is 09 Upper Deck Legacy Basketball Cards featuring Michael Jordan. 1,170 cards in this master monster set, I'm going to call it. Very cool cards, though. Let's start with game number one. Game one. Okay, before we get into that, let's just talk about a little bit more on the set. So it's 2008-2009 Upper Deck, and it's called Legacy. And this is what's unique about it. It is actually it was released in four different uh series or sets you know was it was four different sets yeah sets is that the word okay products four different products um you had 2008 2009 upper deck lineage basketball that was the first one that it was released in and then it was also released in radiance which was an upper deck product and then it was released in the upper deck basketball and then it was released in first edition so we're talking about an insert that was actually released in four different products. I've I don't recall ever seeing something like that before. I wasn't buying I was not buying cards at this time. I remember buying this at my lo local card shop and I asked him specifically about these when I when I bought some from him and he just basically said it was an insert in a product. Like he did not give me any other <laughs> he information. He did, really did not know. So, this is a rare set and to me, I mean, I, I, I think this is, this is a set I need to complete. Like, there's, I, I've never really looked at a set and, and felt like, oh, this would be one of the cooler sets to complete. But looking at these cards, and we'll go through them, obviously, the way that they look, the fact that it's just Michael Jordan, the fact that it actually covers every single game that he played with the Chicago Bulls, so... It started at his debut, October 26, 1984. Card number one, game one. We're going to go over that. And then it goes through game six of the NBA Finals on the 14th of June, 1998. That is crazy. This set is really cool to be looking right? into. Right? So it features so many cards, and it keeps a common theme. All Michael Jordan basketball games, and it gives you some statistics the box scores on, on every single game in the back which That's obviously we're going to cover and the the color in the set looks really cool like to it me does. this theme this little v shape uh you know i i really like it you got upper deck on the left you got michael jordan bulls it's, 23 on the right it's classy the game on the bottom kind of looks like a, a basketball uniform to me you yeah. know yeah Almost like a, a, a V-neck jersey. Okay. Yeah, now I see what you're saying there. For sure. That's kind of what I see. And it, it and the same thing goes on to the back as far as the V going on to the back. You're right. Yeah. That is probably more like, like the... It could be. I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes I see things. Awesome. Awesome. And so, again, there, there are 1,170 cards, but it covers every single game that he played plus some other additional cards like when he was MVP or That's things crazy. like that. So I think you know the number of games that he actually played. What was that total there? Number of games played, 1,072. Okay. All right, so that's that's the background on the set. I, I have, I don't know how many I have. You know, the, Hopefully this is a series that we continue to do uh, every so often. Let's complete that set. Yeah, right. I want to complete the set for sure. That so, would be cool. Let's just start with the first card then. So game number one. Here's one thing I'm going to call out right away as a major disappointment. We started watching his first game, and it's a white jersey at home, not a red jersey. So that is kind of disappointing. Um, I've so noticed... So that's not featuring his real that, that's first not, game. Yeah, that, that picture is maybe from his first year, but it's not from his first game. Yeah. And another thing that I noticed too, which actually probably would have been a, um, would have given it away actually when we look at card number 41 and card number 40, it's actually the same picture. So that, that tells you right there. Same that, picture, two different games. Right. So, you know, I understand that they're probably not going to have 1,000 or 10,070 different pictures. So I get that. Uh, that I just, let's that just bring it up. That would have taken a lot of work. I right. That would have. That would have taken a lot of work. 
a lot of work and a mm -hmm. long time. Fe so features a lot of cards either way. Either and way, they're still kind of cool. Still cool. You I get mean, different stats even with the same picture. And look at the picture. I mean, he looks. He, you know, that's a baby face Michael Jordan right there. He He's looks, got hair. He looks pretty young. He's got right? hair. So even though this isn't his first game he ever played, it's probably his first year. You know, it's got the old. Those are older jerseys with just the Chicago on the front. Um, on the back, just kind of covers his stats. They ended up winning the game. Back to the front, it basically tells you the, the time, where it was played, who they played, yep. final score. Bulls won 109-93. to 93. Michael played, ended up playing 40 minutes, I believe, right? Yeah, 40 minutes, scored 16 points. So, you know, as far as his debut, not, not a horrible start, you know. Let's take a look at two more cards, game number 40 and game number 41. Game number 40, you know, showing the same legacy design. This time, Michael does have another picture with hair. And the classic cursive Chicago Bulls jersey. Love to see it. He's got his hands on his knees, taking a little break, staring off into the distance. I like the look of this card. Game number 40. Jordan would earn a starting nod for the Eastern Conference at the 1985 All-Star Game, an honor most deserved for the Bulls rookie who scored 25 points in game number 40 in a win over Cleveland on January 17th. So that's just kind of a peek at what you can get on the back of these cards. Each individual game description with a box score, like right. you mentioned, so... Yeah. Really, Again, I, I really think, gives you more than what you ordered, I think, for for a card like this. We've talked about undervalued or underappreciated sets. I, I still think the high tops are undervalued and underappreciated. And this, just being a Michael Jordan-specific subset or insert, you know, I'm just surprised it's not more popular. Or maybe it is popular and I just don't know because I'm, I'm not in the know or something. You but did mention it's a huge set, so maybe that steers people off of collecting the whole set. So what do you need after that? Like just a, a couple cards for your collection. I guess. But, you know, thinking there are some seri you know seriously passionate collectors and Michael Jordan collectors are probably some of the most passionate yeah. collectors okay, out there. Okay, good point. You know? I would think somebody is going to try to put this set together on top of the fact that, you know, it was in three different series or I'm still struggling on what to call it, but, um, it's such a unique release though. That right. just, that just speaks to it. Right. And maybe, you know, maybe they're kind of rare. I, I don't know. I mean, who knows how many number ones are there out there? I, I mean, know. I really have no idea. How this many complete is... sets are actually together in the same collection? Is there a complete set in the world? There Is has there to be, right? There has the to be. I would think there would have to be. I, I, I don't know. I would think so. A big Michael Jordan collector or something. I, I don't know. Maybe we could try to put one together. That would, that... that would be sweet. But we're already, we started with number one and we're already on <laughs> Let's 40. We're already on 40 and 41. So that's telling you we're already skipping the 30. <laughs> a little gap 39 in the short right there already to start this right off the bat. So. I don't know. I'm going to keep looking. Uh, when I first ran across these at my local card shop, then I started looking on eBay. And I, I literally went through and I picked out a bunch of lots that I could find that were relatively cheap. And last time I went and looked, the prices have gone up rather, rather significantly from when I was looking at it before. I mean, I think I was buying these for a dollar a piece. Easy. It's such a good value. And right now there. it's like, uh, I want to say they're, they're three, four bucks a piece. So... Well, you get a younger Jordan feel to these cards, too, even though they're produced in, you know, 2009. Yeah, that's still a while ago. We're already in, you know, 2022. Yeah. So, I mean, even though... And demand for Jordan's never going down. Right, right. Again, I think this is an underappreciated set. Um, I'm surprised. I mean, I, I didn't do a major search on YouTube, but I had a hard enough time finding any information <laughs> on the internet to try to explain the release of this set. So it's a forgotten I'm, set, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's there's nothing out there at on YouTube uh, covering the set. I have run across some of the cards every once in a while at a, at like card shows, and, uh, and now I'm regretting not picking up even the few that I saw before. So yeah, I mean, an upper deck release of Michael Jordan legacy cards covering his entire. NBA, only with the Bulls, though. 
NBA is his NBA career only with the Bulls. This one is game number 41, January 19th, 1985 at Indiana Pacers. And then two days one, later. 110 to 107. Two days later, what does he score? Was it like 36 two days later or something like that? I mean, it's insane. Yeah, two days later. What does that say? The fans at Market Square Arena were treated to a superb outing by Jordan on January 19th, 1985. The North Carolina alum was nearly flawless. Netting 38 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists, and it gives you the box score once again in a Bulls logo. Right. It, it's going to be a great card. It's going to be fun covering this set. Let's you cover know, this e set. Even with the limited number I have going through numerical order we're going to go through these and just kind of cover his career as many as i have we'll hit plenty of highlights it'll be fun to do